Hi, it's Ron Moore here, and I have a request. It's more for you than it is for me. It's almost a plea, and that is please stop watching the news. Everyone you talk to thinks they know everything about this virus, or the budget, or Brexit, when in reality, they know nothing. We have no idea what we're being fed. We have no idea what's a fact and what's not. We have no idea what is being, um, what we're being indoctrinated with. I believe the media, forgive me if you feel I'm being a bit sceptical, but I believe the media's interest is to sell their media. And I believe that the best way to sell that is through fear and panic. And, you know, how many times do you read in the front page of a publication, a dog saved from drowning or a really nice positive story, which, by the way, those stories happen thousands and thousands of times a day. Uh, of course, deaths do too. I'm not saying that we should, be, we should ignore the cruelty and the darkness of the world. I'm definitely not saying that. But, but how does reading and watching the news and feeding your mind with negativity and occupying your space with darkness and depression and fear, which probably isn't true anyway, how does that serve you? I don't think it does. What benefit is it giving you? Now, some people say, oh, well, I need to know what's going on in the world. Well, scroll down Facebook for five minutes a day. Clean your feed. Make sure you have the credible sources and people on your feed. Clean it so you're not just seeing conjecture. And then scroll down your feed for five minutes. Or ask someone who watches the news a lot what's going on. Like my business partner, Mark Homer, he likes to stay in touch with all the stuff in the news and the media, especially the markets. And you know, he tells me what's happening in the markets and how much, much it's dropped. But I'm seeing so much free, bad advice. There's a saying I love, free advice is worth every penny. Um, and you know, I remember uh, what a couple of weeks ago when the stock market had its first big drop and loads of people came into my Facebook group going, oh, you've got to get in, in the stock market now. Oh, it's crashed. And then it dropped again. And then it dropped again, which is very likely to happen if you think about it from a common sense point of view. So that was terrible advice. And it came from someone who had no idea what they were talking about because everyone's got an opinion on a social media group. Now, I'm all for people, you know, creating good debate and, and we all have to start somewhere and we all have to build our business and that's OK. But you've got to be so freaking careful what you listen to and what you feed in your mind. Now, I believe the biggest uh, cancer to your success is the, the noises and the voices and the fear and the chaos and the arguments and the panic in your mind. So, you know, when you have an argument with someone in your head, you know, for, for, for a whole day, um, or you read something about a quarantined country and it makes you really panic about your business. Now, these emotions, em emotions are essentially reactions to our environment to help us through to safety, to, to, to warn us through, um, you know, risk and threat in the form of cortisol and fear and panic and stress hormones, or to, you know, give us positive emotions as feedback that we're safe. Um, and of course, all the media triggers all the fear and survival um, chemicals in us. And we're getting this constant stress release. And I think that's really damaging to your health, your wellness, your well-being, your progress, your success, your happiness, your fulfillment, your productivity. Now, what I'm not saying is, hey, let's all just meditate together. Let's do a, a group collective meditation and let's meditate away the virus and let's meditate away the recession, and let's meditate the millions. So I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not hippie about this. By the way, I'm not a critic of attraction, and I'm definitely working on that more. Um, but I, I just want you to know that I'm not saying be an ostrich and, and get in denial about it. Not watching the news is not being in denial. It's protecting your mind from indoctrination and negativity and, you know, and, and falsehood and fear and the constant triggering and the stress. Because if you need to know what's going on in the world, you can ask someone who's relatively balanced and neutral and credible. For five minutes, they can give you an update if you need it. You save hours of cortisol and stress release. You save hours of, of thoughts occupying your head. You've, you empty your, your mind and then you can go, right, what's the solution? What's the new business model to, to combat the virus? Maybe I should go into hand gel and toilet rolls. 
Um, you know, what, what am I, um, how can I pivot quickly? How can I create a plan? How can I not just survive, but thrive in a changing, challenging world? I, I reckon if you have really negative people, people who want you to lose, people who are holding you back all the time, you know, the pet, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? You know, I reckon you'd probably, you know, relinquish those people from your life. You would probably liberate them to liberate yourself. That would be smart. So why don't you do the same with the news? But honestly, I'm talking to so many people like, like they're, that they are running a country, like they know governmental policy, like they know what's going on. You know, from the roots, they have no idea. They've, they've read it in a shitty, you know, newspaper, which is not interested, in fact, at all. Uh, and, and I think you should replace that with solutions, strategies, talking to mentors, talking to, um, you know, people who are succeeding in this time, reading brilliant books, listening to great audio books, listening to podcasts, you know, planning your succession and your crisis management plan uh, and what you can do and staying healthy and positive, not happy clappy, but, you know, glass half full and productive and proactive. By the way, when you empty your mind, ideas come to you. When your mind is full of arguments and debates and criticism and defence and and media hype and fear, it's full. And when it's full, you can't have new ideas that come to you. So emptying your mind, I believe one of the biggest stressors is, you know, this cortisol release from our reaction to our environment, which is overly one-sided in, in, in the favour of the negative. Uh, and in reality, nothing is all one-sided. So this, um, if this virus kicks in, then some businesses are going to thrive and some are going to survive and some are going to fail. Um, if there's a recession, you buy cheaper properties. You can get into the stock market much cheaper. But of course, some monies are going to, some businesses are going uh, and entrepreneurs are going to lose their shirt. Um, if the play, playing field is levelled, like, you know, if, if a field of crops has... Uh, is levelled off, then the, the, the fertile, the soil is, you know, um, liberated and, and re-fertile for, for new growth. So are you able to see the upsides in this situation? Because if you can't see any of the upsides, then you're imbalanced in the negative And it's probably through indoctrination, through fear and panic and media and people. So you've got to block it off. What good, what benefit does it, you, do, does it do for you watching the news? What do you get out of it? Well, you don't get accuracy. So what, what is it that the benefit that you get? And, and if you can find out what the benefit is, um, then you can replace it. So if you like being educated, educate yourself on something more accurate or more positive or more, um, you know, entrepreneurial or productive. Uh, if it's habit, change the habit, F- replace it with something else. I used to be addi- addicted somewhat to energy um, pre-workout drinks. So I replaced that with green tea and that used to make me feel edgy. So I replaced that with coffee. So re- if, there's, if it's just an addiction or a routine, replace it with something else. Put a podcast on, an audio book on an e- or an educational YouTube video on. I, I just, I, I can't see the benefit at all. Um, and, you know, th- th- there are sources which are more factual. So go to those sources. If you feel that current affairs is important to you and your business, by the way, if you're in business, then knowing what's going on in the business world and the, you know, the tax changes and the budget changes, that's important. But that's facts. You know, when there's a budget and there's actual changes, i.e. the base rate goes down or entrepreneurs relief goes down, that's a fact. And you can find that out. And, and that's that's not sort of the, the media indoctrination. So you can filter through and find the facts. You've got to get to the facts, not saying don't know what's going on in your industry. Cool. So sorry about the rant. I thought it was really important. Um, And for me, the biggest liberator of time is mind space. The biggest consumption of time is mind space. The biggest um, cause of stress is mind space. Uh, And the biggest liberator of freedom and happiness is mind space. So it's what your mind is full with. Is your mind full with gratitude and positivity and solutions um, and connections and energy uh, and growth? Or is your mind full of negativity, destruction, chaos and fear? Danny's just hit me up with 500 stars. I want to say thank you, Danny, for your 500 stars. Um, if you hit me up with 500 stars, you can get a shout out to your business, your brand, your podcast, um, you know, whatever it is that you promote or you do, your Facebook group. Um, so just letting you know that. And Danny, thank you for your 500 stars. So for me, that's that. Um, business is not changing for me. I've got a crisis management plan in, plan in place. I've got a pivot plan in place. But other than that, I'm carrying on doing what I'm doing until things dramatically change, until they actually change. Not someone says that it's going to happen when it hasn't happened. Everyone seems to be able to be a predictor of the future, except no one can predict the future. 
So we've got a social media summit, for example, 29th and 30th of May. We've got five of the best social media speakers I think that there are in the world right now. One on all the premium features on social media, which means you can earn directly from social media. One on TikTok and all the new strategies. One who's got a billion views um, on YouTube and a million subscribers. Uh, one who's probably um, one of the biggest social media influencers right now. Nearly all of his videos go viral. He's an internet sensation and he's hilarious. Um, so if you're interested in getting yourself um, more information about that event, tickets aren't on sale yet, so this is not an offer. I'm just telling you. Um, the link is bit.ly forward slash notification SMS. Let me give you that now. Bit.ly. Could someone type that in for me just to help me out? Because it takes me ages while I'm on the live. Um, and I often type it wrong. Bit.ly forward slash notification SMS. Um, and you can get more information. You can see those amazing, amazing speakers. You can see some of the, the, the new up-to-date content. Uh, you, if you're on that notification list early, you're going to get best tickets, best prices, best discounts, best bonuses, best seats, um, best, um, just best of everything. So um, get on that notification list right now. I need to give another couple of shout out. Thank you. So again, if you want to shout me out and get a shout out for your business, your brand, your podcast, your website, whatever it is that you do. Andy Lampard. Thank you, Andy. 500 stars. So he's got a podcast launch party on the 26th of April. Manisha, Manisha Lador, who um, has a coaching academy. She helps people through service accommodation. So thank you for those. And by the way, if you're watching the replay, you can still get on the notification list and you can still um, give me a shout out. Just put your link and a bit about what you do in this thread. I, my um, social media has, has actually gone on, on a bit of an explosion recently. I'm getting well, at the moment about two to three thousand new followers a week. Um, over the last sort of two weeks, probably nearer the 3,000 organically, no Facebook ads, no paid ads. So something is going on and exploding to a certain degree, relatively for me. When I say exploding, um, you know, I'm not getting a billion views. But for me, I mean, I normally get two to 6,000 new followers a month organically. And now I'm getting that uh, in a week. So that's just good reach for you if you want to shout out for your stars. Just hit me up with 500 stars, you get massive reach on my profiles. It's just something I'm doing as a trial to see if we can have a little win-win. So thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Oh, by the way, please share this video. How many people are killing their lives and ruining their lives watching the news? How many people are indoctrinating themselves with pain and panic and fear? Um, how many people are lost and stressed? Uh, uh, we need to change how, what the media is doing to us, by the way. I mean, you've got to say that the media were a big part of the suicide of Caroline Flack. You've got to say that the media are causing a lot more stress and anxiety and are probably quite a big um, factor in this increase in suicide. You can't blame them for everything. And, and you know, I'm not, but and all media channels are different. But uh, I think we need to change it a little bit. Ne media needs to be a bit more sensitive um, because people are people and we have feelings uh, and, and we have weaknesses and vulnerabilities. And I think they should be honoured a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes we need a bit of tough love. So please share this and let's just take control back a bit and let's put a bit of more productive, more accurate, more informative, more inspiring, more energizing content out there on social media and in the media, rather than, you know, all the inaccurate uh, fear inducing stuff that seems to be prevalent at the moment. So please share this uh, around the place. I'd be very grateful. Help as many people as we can. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.